Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, whatever. Whenever you're watching this, this is Natalie from the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche. My name is Natalie Willis. I'm actually Dr. Sohn. I'm an OBGYN doctor as well. And, ooh, I love coffee. Today is the last day of my vacation. So I'm really excited. Uh, I wanted to make this video. It's quiet because my husband is fishing. It's a Wednesday. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I took off a Wednesday to a Wednesday because Christmas was on Friday. And we have New Year's Eve and then I'm on call Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's my punishment <laughs> for being on Christmas. So off Christmas. So. Today is the perfect day to make a video. I did, oh, I, I do have a lot of work to do. Yesterday and the day before, I was putting away Christmas stuff, and yes, I have a lot of Christmas stuff. The only Christmas stuff that's not put away is the tree, which I kept up. I think I'm gonna keep up till this weekend, which is New Year's, and then I, have to put away the tree, which is actually the easiest thing to put up. So, you'll have to excuse me. I'm, I'm in love with coffee, good coffee. I grind my own beans and everything. So, first things first, let me show you my latest FFO. I did not make this pillow. This design, I have it in front of me, is by the Scarlet Letter, Mary Ann Hutton. Beautiful, right? This was my mistake of the year. Now, Mary Ann Hutton, by the way, it's in a really nice Lucy Bean bag. <laughs> Mary Ann Hutton, I started on a gray linen. I don't remember the name of this linen. I think it's an R&R &R gray linen. I don't quite recall with the called for the called for uh, silk and I started it on the it was on a roll frame and I started it on the wrong end of the roll frame meaning I ran out of space so I had a half finished sampler I was so mad at myself I've never done that probably will not do it again so what did I do? I sent it off to Faye Rigsby and said, please make something creative. Um, she's really busy and she takes a while to finish stuff, but she's very creative. It's not like I take it to my finisher down at the cross stitch cupboard and I have to actually tell them what I want. I was so frustrated that I said, here's some fabric, here's some lace, do something. And she did. So the half finished pillow with this, this nice sort of country Christmassy fabric and just some striped fabric in the back was made into something beautiful with this hand tatted vintage lace. I think it just looks so comfy and home style and it's finished so perfectly. I wish I could do stuff like this, but of course I can. I'm not an expert sewer. I would love to have somebody come to my house and give me sewing lessons. Somebody at the quilt store gives a quilt lesson, but the problem is that you have to go there, and I really don't want to go there. I want somebody to come to my house. If anybody knows somebody in South Florida willing to come to the house and teach me how to sew so I can make things like this, let me know. Anyway, I'm very pleased with the way this came out. I do want to show you something. I'm going to re-stitch this. And kitten stitcher Teresa Vinay actually did a conversion for me to silk and colors, a combination of silk and colors and Gloriana. So this is going to have a different look to it. I think a softer look. And the fabric I picked out is actually, I'm not 100% sure I can do it on this because I don't know if this is thin enough for 45 count. But I'm gonna look for this fabric in a lesser count or something like this. This is 
legacy linen called Woven Sledge. Once again, it's a really homespun-y linen with a grayish tint to it. Um, on 45 count, it's not going to work. So I put this here just for color purposes. Excuse me. But anyway, I'm going to redo this one because I'm so frustrated. And I love that sampler. Here's another finish. This is called Joy Noel by Artful Orphorings. I did this with, uh, I don't know, whatever colors I could find. I don't remember. But I did this with colors from my stash. This looks like it's printed on like a towel, but it's actually stitched. I don't know what this fabric is. It is linen. It seems like linen. It could be some sort of linen cotton blend. I'm not sure because it's thicker than just about every other linen I've used. Measured about 37, 38 count. So I did this over one. And it's like a homespun field. In fact, it feels like a towel. It's not a towel. I, it is definitely even weave. I counted it both ways. And I just love it. I love the feel. I love the look. And this is going to be a little square pillow. If you can just see. And of course, it says 2020 on it. I changed the year. Very pleased. This one I should be able to make myself. I think I'm going to try the finish where you actually sew on the machine all four corners and then you put a little slit in the back and stuff it that way and then put a patch over it. I think a patch and a button would be really cool. I'm going to try that. I, I like the thought of doing, of just sewing up the back and then like doing an applique, maybe a some sort of patch of coordinating fabric. I just like that. So I'm going to try that with this one. I, I know I can do it. I The easiest way to cut linen so that it's perfectly straight is to pull a thread, sort of measure how far you want to be. You can actually pull the thread in the middle and then you now have a line that's perfectly even. Just have to be careful where you pull the thread so that it, it's the size you want. And then the uh, batting or the backing, I just go around and the hard part is me sewing it. So I do sew it. Uh, I use I use the machine as my guide and try to sew it evenly and it, it the little pillows come out fine. It's when I start getting fancy that <laughs> I get frustrated. So that's a finish. What am I working on now? Well, I have two. Oh, I actually have a third finish. Totally forgot. This is sort of funny. Another beautiful. This is by Kathy's Posies. They're 20 20 to 25 bucks, free shipping if you buy enough of them, bargain items, beautiful. She made this one for me. And I love the, love the embroidery. But anyway, I finished Anne Rudolph by La Di Da on my own fabric with, once again, I substituted the colors Put the Rudolph in red, put a little red on the sides, put a little green in there, just to give it some pizzazz. And I left off one of the reindeer. I'm going to leave it like that. It'll be a conversation piece. But I think this came out great. I have the chart in here. I have the floss. This chart is by La Di Da. Oh, and this floss is unnamed. This floss is by Heart Threads Floss Company. 
on Etsy, she doesn't name her floss, but she hand dyes them and they're gorgeous. Isn't that a rich color? And they're very inexpensive for what they are. They're just unnamed. So you have to be careful because you really can't get more of a floss you're missing. She made some Christmas colors for me and she will do that if you email her. So it is, let me get the exact spelling so that you, I don't mess you up. If you're looking for this on, on, um, oh, not heart. It's Three Hearts Design Company. Three Hearts Design CO. Three spelled out, hearts, designs, no spaces, CO. And that is her Etsy store and her, I'm highly recommending, highly recommending these. And who's missing? One of them. Now my, my choice is to, I think Cupid's missing. Yep, Cupid is missing. So I could either pull it all out and put Cupid in or I can leave it. I'm just going to leave. And once again, I think I can finish this one myself. This is to be finished. Yeah. I worked on that at my sister-in-law and brother-in-law's house. Uh, all is calm, all is bright is the other one that I'm working on. Where is my pattern? This is by, here we go. This is by Calico Confectionery. This is only 32 count linen, so I'm working it with two, over, over two. This is, I don't know, this printed linen. Kind of cool. Very easy, oh, only a few colors in this. I'm looking for the colors. Where are they? Hmm. Am I missing my colors? Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Here they are. The red is missing because I ran out of red. So this is emerald, parchment, holly, and Louisiana hot sauce is the red. I think it looks real good. There's not much here to go. I did about, as you can tell, this side is all done. So what do I really have? I only have the end. I gotta get this finished and I will. I'm not putting this one away. I do not want this to be done. And I think this will be a little framed piece. I sort of like the idea of it. I don't know, I gotta think about it. I, I really dislike working in linen that I have to use two threads because I find that the threads sort of, they get a little bit twisted. Working in one thread is so such a pleasure and it comes out finer, but you know what? This one looks good. I like the thickness of the thread and they're really beautiful colors. I just pick what I had. On small pieces, I try to pick and use what I have. I have a big floss collection. I'm gonna show you what I did with my floss collection. It's reorganized, I'll show you. Okay, and this is what else I'm almost, I'm, I'm fairly almost done with. Um, Praiseworthy Stitches Wonderful Star. This is out of print and hard to find. Now, if you contact Praiseworthy Stitches, I don't know their names per se. Uh, Pam Lewis and Susan Rome, excuse me. If you contact them and there's an email address uh, on here I can I can list below or I don't know if the email address is good so 
somebody contacted them on Facebook because they have a Praiseworthy Stitches page and they did answer and they had a few copies. Two different people bought copies from her of this when I put this on the Vintage Cross Stitch page. I think she has a handful of copies and that's it. Otherwise, you have to look for it. So, unusual. When's the last time you saw any sampler with a star? Never. Never. It's a sampler made by them. This piece was taken from our favorite music artist, Twyla Paris's song, Wonderful Star. I have to look that up. I don't know this song. And I did... It, it said that the border was stitched with an Algerian eye stitch over four threads. I didn't do it. I didn't do it because it's not charted that way and I didn't read that until after. But I think it looks fine the way it is. Oh no! Coffee! did spill coffee on my table, but I didn't spill it. I spilled it on the chart, but I didn't spill it on anything else. This is the second time this has happened. Eek! I knocked it over with my roll frame. Even if I spilled coffee on this, it's coffee dyed. It would have been fine. <laughs> but, so let me show you. That is funny. Probably somebody's going to thumbs down me for that. I'm not, I am not editing that out. Anyway, here is my piece. These are all called for colors. This is my own linen. Here, let me see if I can show you. And of course it's rolled up some here. My own hand dyed linen called sampler linen, which I've made quite a few things on. I love it for samplers. And this is going to look just darling. It is about three quarters done. Um, because this star, there's a few things under here and then I have to complete the star, but it really is going very quickly. Nice. I can't believe I did that. Did I get it on here? Nope. Not wet. <laughs> so, and like I said, even if I did, not a big deal. Wow, could have been worse. I could have done it on my nice bag. I just rinsed off the chart. It's going to be fine. These are all the called for colors, just to let you know. Pretty, huh? Beautiful purples and greens. That's either 36 or 40 count. I don't know for sure. So. Boy, was I lucky there. Let's just put this on here. We can hang that so we know. Boy, you must think I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right. Oh, little piece of, let's see. I have a pink, some coffee here, just a little drip. We're done. Oh, now I get to show you some new stuff. Or I'm going to show you stuff I'm going to do. I'm going to start this right after I finish this, which is pretty soon. There, there is the stitch along for Ann Morrison, just to remind you. With these beautiful sulky threads that... I, or not silky threads, excuse me. They're Aversois silks. And this 45 count Jersey cream. So this is gonna be started. Boy, if I spilled coffee on this, I'd be mad, but um, this is to be started next. So I really wanna get that done. Now for the new stuff. This is going to be in no particular order. I waited six months for this. This is an eBay find. 
from Russia, a little kit. And six months I waited for this. I couldn't believe it. I forgot about it. Totally forgot. And in fact, recently I had emailed her and said, what is going on? Wasn't very expensive. I don't remember how much this was, but it was pretty inexpensive, but from Russia. And miraculously, three days later, after I emailed her, it showed up. I don't understand that. But, and it's, it said from Moscow or wherever, so. So what does this kit come with? It's quite pretty. It comes with all your floss sorted. And a piece of Ada. You can do this on Ada because it, it's so close together, I think it would look fine. Isn't that beautiful? It's magnificent. I've seen I've seen these done. Um, <clears throat> called the magic needle. Uh, the chart is complicated, but not horrible. Can be done. I'm not starting any Christmas right now, so this is on the back burner. But it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Like I said, it comes like this. Uh, for the price, it's relatively inexpensive. I might change this to linen. In fact, I think I will because I'd like to do it with one thread versus two because I think this is 14 count Ada. So that's new. I have some new linen. I bought this on an eBay auction. What's interesting about this linen, it, it was not listed as r, r linen, it was listed by its name. So this one is r, &R Colonial Pumpkin. R&R Pilgrim Brown and R&R Mariner's Blue. All three of these are discontinued pumpkin. This now makes my fifth pumpkin that I have for R&R, all different pumpkins. Okay. This is Pilgrim Brown. And this is Mariner's Blue, which really doesn't look blue. It looks, it's gray. It's like a gunmetal gray, just to let you know. Purple gray. So those I purchased. I have another piece of linen. This is from the same seller, that, that random. It says 35 count NC. I don't know what NC linen tea color. I don't know what NC means, but it is a beautiful color. Would be nice for a sampler. NC. If anybody knows what NC is, please put it down below. So that's the linen I bought. Well, not true. I have some more linen. <laughs> Try not to buy linen, but if I find a really good deal, I, I, I can't resist. This is a piece of murky. Murky was hard to find. Fortunately, it's 32 count, but it's a piece of murky. It's just a small piece I found. I figured for an ornament of some sort. This is another piece of linen. I don't know what it is. It's these are small pieces. They were inexpensive. These I got on Stash Unload. I think it's Weeks Dye Works. But it's a dark gray. I don't know. This is a bigger piece. Again, all the same seller. It says 32 count, quarter yard of something. Let me picture this plus. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to save all this or pass it on. I'm not sure. Sometimes I'll buy it, I'll look at it, and say, I'm not going to use that. Who knows? And then, a giant piece of mystery linen. A half yard of mystery linen. That seems like, I don't know what count it is. 
I don't know. This is doubled, so giant piece of mystery linen. If I had to guess, I don't know. I think it, it, it almost looks like linen that you would get from one of the kits from the Scarlet House or Scarlet Letter, excuse me, or ex, um, Exemplary. Because they, they always send their own linen. But So I got some of this linen. Who knows what I'll pass on? Who knows what I won't? Oh. One of these says Dixie Leaky Cauldron. So which is the Dixie? 9 by 13. Is this the Dixie? No. Leaky Cauldron. I don't know which one it is. Which one is Leaky Cauldron? Is it this? This must be it. Leaky Cauldron by Dixie Hand Dyed Fabrics. No wonder I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm not sure what's what here. Sometimes I sell these as mystery. It says Dixie Hand Dyed Fabrics Leaky Cauldron. I'm going to look, look it up and see if that's what it is. This is another part to the Stacy Nash Primitives Mar um, Mariah, Maria Higginson. Just a beautiful sampler. I have not got a chance to start it. I, I wanted to start one of these samplers, although I have samplers that I've already started. Hmm, decisions, decisions. But I did want to do one of these samplers. This is part two. As you can see, it's just beautiful. I love the house. Look at the house. Um... I don't know where I got this from, but this is from the uh, the Pin Keep Sarah Hand Simple House Prim Sisters. I think I got this. Who knows? One of the stash unloads. This is probably out of print, or but it's just a little itty bitty prim sampler. I thought it was cute. I like to do small things in between the big things. It makes me feel like. And then scattered seed samplers on part of the. Um, I'm part of the, excuse me, what would you call that? The, the club. And this is the latest club piece called Seeds of Kindness. I guess this is springy. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely beautiful. Look at the stuff it comes with. It, let me just open this. Show you the linen. Does it better come with linen? <laughs> yeah, of course it does. It comes with. I don't know what this is. Is that a charm? Yep. It comes with. Oh, I don't want to unfold it. It's so nicely folded. Beautiful fabric. Beautiful linen. A charm and beautiful floss, which is separated nicely and whatever that's for. I don't know what that's for, but that's your needle and it's got some. And this is based on the parable of Sour Luke 8, 12. The seed is the word of God. Her stuff is just beautiful. They're not big, they're easy to do. Once again, seeds of kindness. So that's new. Oh, another thing that I ordered probably a year ago and from Bush Mountain Stitchery. When did I order this? Actually it wasn't a year, it was September 25th, 2020. And I forgot about it. And it was Bell Bell Snickles Christmas Journey by Teresa Baird. They they were the only one that had this listed for sale. She has 
a website. So let me look at the website and see if she has this for sale, which Teresa Baird. Um, maybe she doesn't. I thought she had a website. Cross stitch. No, I guess not. Somehow, I thought she did, but I don't see it. Anyway, this was hard, very, very, very hard to find, and I was in love with it when I saw it. Isn't it beautiful? And I can't believe how long I waited for it, but from Bush Mountain Stitchery, I'm just astonished that I would, <laughs> I ordered it in September and forgot about it. And it uses classic color works, quite a few colors. Um, intermediate level, 36 count lakeside linens, misty rain. I might have that. In fact, I think I do actually. And then it uses quite a uh, classic color works. It's all done in, oh, okay. Belsois classic color works. It's all done in silks. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 18 colors of classic color works silks, two colors of NPI, and one, two, three, four, five colors of rainbow gallery. Not inexpensive to kit up, but it's so beautiful. Just looking at the chart, and it is printed very nicely, just to show you a peek. And once again, magnificent. From Heart's Ease Exemplar Works. Why do I think? Heart's Ease has a, let's see, They're, they have a blog, Bell Snickle, let's see, they have a blog, do they have a, I thought they had a, some sort of a page, if you know if they have a page or if you know where this is for sale, let me know, but the only place I had personally found it was on was Bush Mountain Stitchery, and apparently they really didn't have it either. They somehow got a hold of it. From Bush Mountain Stitchery, if they still have it, just to let you know the price was, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't expensive. I think it was $10, $12. So. And this is just beautiful. I don't like these. They're hard to get. I always find them hard to get back there, but here we go. All right. Now I'm going to show you a freebie that I received. Um, all the stuff I show you when I say I recommend somebody, it's all pieces of, what's the word, things I bought. So in general, I do not accept, I don't ask for, I don't want people to give me things so that I promote them. There are a lot of people on here who do that, which I don't blame them. They go to the bother of making these videos. Let's say they have 10,000 subscribers. Then I think, you know, it, it, why not? They make a little, they probably get free stuff out of it. I don't know. But... I found this lady on Etsy. I put her as designer of the day in my spot. I contacted her so she would join our group and maybe comment. And lo and behold, she sent these to me, which was very, very nice. These are PDFs, by the way. Her PDFs are very inexpensive. And I don't like working off of a PDF, so I print them out. But I'm going to show you these designs. She only has three designs because she is a new designer. Her name is Miss Prim, Rhonda Nauf. 
just gourds. Okay. This is the one that I absolutely went gaga over. This is Miss Prim Turkey in a Basket. I mean, look at the talent. Isn't that beautiful? And here's one that a lot of people went gaga over. This one is called Sweet Santa. Look at him. So just to let you know her site and what, like I said, in general, I don't want this, but she was nice enough to send them to me. Miss Prim. Let's see if I can find them because I do want to give you, I, I think they're beautiful and she's a new designer and her stuff is lovely. Miss Prim Sweet Santa. Let me just look this up and see if I can find it. I can't find it, of course. <laughs> this is the problem when you, um, when you buy stuff on Etsy, it's very hard to find things I have found. So let me see if I could just find it from her. Her name is Rhonda. Um, Donna, Jacob, November. Uh, let's see. I'm looking to see if I can find it. Here we go. I need to get her, Donna, how do you get user profile? Here you go, Prim Stitcher Shop, P-R-I-M-S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R-S-H-O-P-P-E -P -P -E from Waverly, Kentucky. Uh, and um, no, that's not her. Get rid of that. That's not her. Excuse me. Where is she? Rhonda. Well, I can't find her. I feel upset, actually. Um, let's see if I can find... Uh, let's see... Hmm, here you go. Sorry, let's start that over again. Her, uh, Rhonda's original, R-H-O-N-D-A-S, uh, originals, O-R-I-G-I-N-A-L-S, and there's no space in between. Rhonda's originals, she makes other things besides cross-stitch, but uh, she has these cross-stitch charts and um, Let's see if I can find her cross stitch. What's new? Where is her cross stitch? Does she not have it on here? Christmas decor. Uh, view all. Let me look up her cross stitch. I can't seem to find it on her site, but this is her. Featured items. What's new? Let me look up what's new. She's brand new designer. She just started making these. And why can't I find them? Anyway, you can probably email her and get them. Wow. Books and digital. She's got tea bags. She's got all kinds of stuff on here. And of course I can't find them. Let's see if I can search. Boy, does this bother me. Search shop. And uh, she doesn't have any listed cross-stitch downloads. I don't know why, but uh, very talented lady, so you probably could contact her and have her list them. Sometimes the listings expire, so beautiful. And that was really nice of her to send these, and it was unsolicited, so okay. So I showed you this these beautiful uh, bags from from uh, Kathy's Posies, once again, Kathy's Posies on uh, Etsy. And this, these are ones I bought too. And like I said, I buy stuff. 
from Deborah Harry's. Eek. A project bag. Magnificent out of repurposed cross uh, embroidery. Her stuff goes quick. Pam and Steph put it on there and uh, boy. Magnificent spring item. I have three things here I bought. Here's another one. This is a big one. Also for spring. From Old Embroidery. Here's the inside. Expertly done. I haven't opened these yet. I just got these in the mail. And here's the third one. Oh, look at this. This is my favorite. Beautiful. Beautiful fabric. Look at the inside. These have a flat bottom, by the way, which I actually like. I love the flat bottom. Just magnificent, really. Just magnificent. And uh, she always gives you this vintage, uh, this is paper. I save this for stuffing, for stuff that I mail out. And it's, it's really a vintage pattern. And this is, as you can see, a piece of paper from a vintage pattern. And good luck finding her stuff. Uh, Deborah Harry's on Etsy. Her, her issue is that she makes some and they just sell out within five minutes. So I love her stuff. And uh, how many project bags do I need? Well, eventually I want to have just a whole bunch of all my projects uh, in projects bags. Not all, but, uh, you know, at least ones that are on my to-do list. I think that would be cool, and they're so beautiful. My friend Mary says, oh, I can't believe people hoard these project bags. I'm like, yeah, I'm a hoarder. She's funny. Two more things I found. Um, this one I found on uh, OfferUp. I actually bought it in Tennessee. Check this out. It's a small caddy for a project caddy made of wood. Beautiful wood. Vintage, not antique for sure. Vintage meaning less than 50 less than 100 years old probably more than 25 it's up to you know maybe this is made in the 60s 70s i'm not sure this one i'm selling because i don't need it this one i am not selling i have not done anything to try to revive it this i found on offer up mail order and uh this is antique I don't know how old it is, but it's got old grandma basement smell. And if you had a ba if you have a basement, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Look at it. It's it's round on the bottom. Remarkable condition, considering its age. Perfect, beautiful size. Uh, I love it. The price was right. I bought it sight unseen. I did one of the mail order things and it's it's magnificent, beautiful. I don't know when it's made. Um, I'm looking, it has staples, some staples in the wood. I don't know when they started using staples. Um, the wood is good quality. It's well made and uh, of course, this veneer sort of looks like a little bit like tiger oak. If anybody knows when this is made, let me know, but I'm absolutely enamored with it. So this one is not for sale. The other one is. I don't need it. Um, before we go on, I am going to do a giveaway with this video. 
the giveaway will be this out of print chart called Sarah's House Simple House from it was from Prim Sisters by the Pin Keep. This is the giveaway. And it's a really cute chart. And if you're interested in the giveaway, this is a giveaway just for this video because I do separate gi giveaways on the page. But some people are not members of Facebook and do watch these videos. So this is for you and everybody else that comments. And uh, I'm going to use the random comment picker. So I have to put a, a, I have to put a, uh, what's the word? A, uh, a word to find. So what are you going to be stitching this month? So I think the word I'm going to look at for is month. So just comment below on, and I will pick this, uh, I will pick this uh, next video. You will be, you will be notified. You, I will show the winner next video. So that'll be for next video. Let's put this in here. I'm never going to remember. Let me put this out. <laughs> so lastly, I'm thinking I already showed you this one. Not only a few months ago it's out. Should I show it again or should I get an older one? Let me get an older one. Hold on, we can change. I found an older one, which is the 2018 spring issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. Old issues are still available. You have to find them or go on the website or email them. Not every old issue, but a lot of the old issues are. So let's go through this. I'm just showing you the cross stitch. One of my pages is loose, but that's okay. This is Beehive by Teresa Miller of Teresa's Primitive Treasures. Beehive. And that's Prim. And let's see what she's done that on. She did that on Dixie Sampler of Oats and Honey, which of course you can do this on anything. And Gentle Arch Threads. Let's see. This is Finding Eggs by Lucy Bean. Finding Eggs. A lot of solid stitching here. Very new, very interesting. I like the, the black swan with the crook neck. This is Spring by Thistles. Spring by Thistles. This is Frida by Barbara Anna. Quite a few people did, did Frida. <laughs> there you go. Hmm, I almost want to do two of these, but no, I think one's plenty. Uh, this is Welcome Spring by Teresa Kogan. I've seen this one done. Welcome Spring. That's a lot of white in that rabbit. And that white is a little, is Weeks Dye Works. What is the white? Hmm. Doesn't say. Light, it's actually not white, it's light khaki. Let's see what else we have. This is Hornshore Sampler and Necklace by Robin LeCouf. It's a little spring sampler. Very pretty. And you know what? I'm going to get another one of these because this one didn't seem that full to me. So hold on. 
It's a bonus. This is the 2019 spring issue. Good. Let's go through this. This is Three Snows by Lindy Stitches. Oh, I love this robin. We don't really see robins in South Florida. Lindy Stitches has some exquisite stuff. I love her. She makes this one with these, these birds called boobies. I love it. Cross Stitch Cupboard has that, has it stitched up and finished and uh, it's really nice. I love her stuff. This is Hair Sampler by Teresa Miller. I think this, this magazine has a lot more meat in it actually. Isn't that cute? Okay. This is Bridged Swan by the Primitive Hair. I love this finish with all the feathers. Super cool. Primitive Hair. Super, super cool. And let's see. This is Spring Basket by Barbara Anna. Little basket. Okay. And there's a nice little to do there. There shop here is keepsakes. They have a lot of pictures in case you're interested. This is Quaker Pin Cushion by Rebecca Nolan. I really like this. Quaker Pin Cushion by Rebecca Nolan. And this is Spring Welcome by Mel Melody Gilmore of Open Road Abode Needleworks. Sort of an interesting finish with these tacks, furniture tacks. This, of course, is uh, Vanna Pfeiffer, uh, who has a finishing tutorial in here. She shows a fin how to finish uh, the spring hair stand-up. This is by la -dee da This chart is not in here, just the instructions on how to finish, but you can easily find this chart. It is not out of print. Isn't that cute? And she gives an extensive uh, finishing tutorial on how to make this. Way beyond me, but great. Just great. And uh, this is Doves for, Spring, uh, Doves for Spring by Roveris. It's really pretty. And it's a beautiful little finish with pretty fabric and everything. And this is Birds of Spring by Dames, Dames of the Needle. This one's packed, packed full of stuff. Okay. And let's see. This is by Sub Rosa. This is Welcome Spring. Isn't that cute? Love the kitty. If I did this one, I would change the color so it matched my kitty. Okay. This one is, I think this is a little more packed full of stuff than the other one. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. And that's it. Of course, there's some interesting ads. And then there's a Floss Tube channel ad from a bunch of people here. So I always thought that was kind of interesting. Are we done? That was fun. 
So again, there is a giveaway associated with this video and you, you have to follow the directions which are in the video. I've already gone over that. And I don't get a ton of commenters, so I think the, I think uh, your chances of winning are good if you like the chart and uh, nothing else to say. Happy New Year. I hope everybody has a good year. I hope we have a better year this year than next year. My New Year's resolution is not to buy any more charts because I just can't. I did order a chart recently. I know that's sort of funny, but... And the reason I ordered it, it's Lucy Beam, who is Becky Nolan, who I am a Facebook friend with and I talk to. And she does have a stitch along of a reproduction chart that she, uh, she reproduced. And it, it's beautiful. She sold me an entire kit. Did I really need the entire kit? I certainly could have kitted it up myself, but I like the idea of having everything together. I don't have to search for the floss. And uh, that one I'm going to do because I, I really, uh, I like Becky Nolan and I'm in love with the sampler too. I have too much stuff. So I have to, I'm going to start de-stashing a little bit, maybe going through things that I don't think I'd stitch. I don't know. But, or you can collect, people collect jewelry, people collect race cars, die cut. My husband collects tools. Um, and then as long as it fits in my little studio here or my little room, I'm okay. From my home to yours, please keep stitching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, please subscribe. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.